So this is a demo video for the Sorn Extra Cell Saver. I figured since we talked about this in Perf Tech, it'd be useful to kind of get a visualization of how this thing actually works. So there's a few important components to the Cell Saver. Uh, this is the console. It's got a touch screen that, uh, that you can control the function of the Cell Saver with. You can see we got our bowl here. This is the centrifuge part that spins around. We have our reservoir. And the reservoir, let's just assume that this contains some blood. Uh, it's going to have some patient blood in there. Um, connected here is a vacuum line. So this is what provides the suction power for the aspiration line, which is here. So this is the line that gets connected um, to the field. They have a little suction tip that they use to take blood from the field. Right now, my um, patient is the sink. So just pretend like that's a, that's a real life patient. Um, you can see that with the aspiration tubing, there's a little, a big line. This is where the blood comes in. And then there's a small line attached to it. And that's where the heparin gets spiked. So the heparin's gonna get spiked with this little spike right here. You probably have your heparin bag um, hanging somewhere here and you would spike your heparin and then that way uh, you can adjust the drip rate so that you have heparin constantly mixing uh, with the blood volume that's coming in. Uh, so the vacuum, this can be attached to like a Neptune, which is a um, like a really strong vacuum source that you'll commonly see in the OR, but the cell saver actually has its own suction as well. So this is a little vacuum port. You can control it right here. So you can set the negative pressure I think typically you want to go no higher than like 150 or 200. Um, so that's what's going to provide your uh, vacuum power. And then um, how do we get the blood from the reservoir into the cell saver? It's this line right here, which has a straw that goes down into the fluid. So there's a blue line here that's connected and that's going to run around the cell saver. And it's going to be this blue line here. And that will eventually run around here and it'll enter the cell saver. The cell saver uses a roller pump mechanism to bring uh, fluid from the reservoir into the centrifuge. Um, and so there's more lines over here. So the blue one I just talked about, the yellow one is the wash line. So you'd have a, a bag of saline here and you, you're going to spike it with the yellow line. And that's what's going to be used to wash the blood that's in the cell saver or in the in the bowl. And then once the, uh, once the blood in here is cleaned, it's been spun, it's washed, it's going to exit through this red line. And this red line is gonna go into the reinfusion bag. And this is gonna have um, packed red blood cells with um, very high hematocrit. And then oftentimes you'll attach one of these filters to it, to one of the ports. And then this will be connected to like an IV line or a central line. And that's how you can transfuse to the patient. So I remember Professor Archer was talking about um, Jehovah's Witness patients. So many don't accept blood products. Many don't accept even cell saver blood, which is their own um, blood technically. One way that you can kind of get around this, and again, it, it varies by patient to patient. Some patients are okay with, if you have this, uh, already connected to like an IV line or a central line and it's already in uh, that line is already inside the patient technically we have a closed circuit because aspiration line is at the field which is in the patient and then that's going to bring blood all the way around and eventually here and then it's going to go via the central line or the IV line and that's considered a closed circuit so even though it leaves the body um, some people are okay with that so that's one way you can get around um, uh, Jehovah's Witness considerations. So I got some volume in here. I'm going to show you guys how to spin it. The cell saver is really easy to use. In fact, it does most of the work for you. So you just press play. You can control the rate at which it spins. I think. Okay, maybe not. And then you'll see this roller pump starts to work. And then it's going to start filling. It's kind of hard to see here, but you can see fluid starting to enter the centrifuge. You can see that level slowly increasing. So all the red blood cells are going to go out to the outside. All the like plasma components, heparin, all the nonsense you don't want is going to leave out the middle and it's going to drain into this waste bag here. 
So the, there's a sensor here that automatically detects when the bowl is filled. And once it's filled, it'll start the wash process. It'll wash down with like 600 to 1,000 milliliters of saline, and then it'll put it into this red bag, and then you can transfuse it to the patient. So, yep, that is uh, the basic components of the cell saver.